test, test. So good morning and welcome. If you can start uh, making your way to your seat, that would be great. We want to get started on time. We have a really hard time keeping these presenters within their time slots. They have so much to say. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So um, welcome to our Clark Prize Conference. I'm Jeff Mosier with the National Water Research Institute. And um, many of you have come before. I was talking with a couple of the students from UC Riverside who have been coming for several years now. And so it's been great having all the students here. Um, it's nice seeing people from year to year. And uh, most of you know that we, we have the Clark Prize, prize that's given out in the evening. And um, because we had so many people coming in for that, we started doing the Clark Prize conference. And it's been great. Um, the theme of what we've been doing is on urban water sustainability, and we do that in a couple different ways. Because we have so many researchers that come in town for the Clark Prize, we have a blend of some of the research that's going on out there, as well as some of the projects or implementation of projects that are going on in cities uh, in, in California. So it's been a good blend, it's been a good mix, and it, and it comes off very well. So today, just to give you an idea of what we're going to be hearing about, uh, one of the sessions is on planning for sustainable water supplies, and then we're going to be talking about a session looking at challenges for urban water sustainability, and then the last session is going to be looking at new and innovative technologies. So we're going to be starting off with some of the projects and then moving to some of the research, um, which will be great. I think we have a great program for you. So one of the things I want to mention is that NWRI is supported by our member agencies. Many of these agencies have been supporting NWRI for 20 plus years. It's been great to work with them. They're all very progressive in what they do. Uh, for example, they're all involved in recycled water projects. They're all very um, good at thinking about new technologies and expanding their water supplies. I just want to mention them here. So Inland Empire Utilities Agency, which is out um, in the Inland Empire area, Irvine Ranch Water District, Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, Orange County Sanitation District, Orange County Water District, and West Basin uh, Municipal Water District. The other thing that really helps us be able to put this together is our corporate associates. And these are a lot of the, the companies that we work with um, on a day-to-day -day basis. We see them in the projects we're involved in. And a lot of collabor collaboration goes on between these companies the water and wastewater agencies, as well as the, uh, the academics. And a lot of what NWRI has done is bring in some of the, the academics um, in terms of bringing their expertise to the projects. And it's been really good in terms of having this collaboration. The other thing that NWRI does that I think is very special, and it's one of the things that uh, I think helps to find us, but also gives us um, some of the greatest value back is some of the fellowship students that we've supported. So over the years, I, I don't have the exact number, but we tend to have between eight and 10 fellowship students that, that uh, we support from universities in California and across the USA. And so if you see these folks around today, um, they are here. Uh, Kadila Abula from, from UCLA, and she works with Mike Stenstrom. And Chen Chen, you can just call her Chen, she's uh, with Sharon Walker at UC Riverside. And the interesting th thing there is Sharon Walker was one of our fellowship students. And I, I say it every year, but we're very proud of that, Sharon. And, and Matt Flood. Um, even though his badge says University of Michigan, he's actually with Michigan State, and Joan Rose didn't really like that, so we're gonna, we'll get that corrected. <laughs> uh, Tussar Jane from UC Riverside um, with Haizu uh, Lu as, a, as a, his uh, advisor in Haizu is here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the best I can. Natalia von Reitzenstein with Arizona State University and Paul Westerhoff is her advisor. So um, you can just tell by the quality of the advisors. I mean, these students are doing really great work. I didn't mention the, the work they're involved in. We mentioned it here. But some of the best work that we see is done by these students because they're really willing to take risks and look at things that haven't been looked at before. I also want to mention that our Clark Prize Conference is, is uh, only possible with the support of our Clark Prize recipients. And so this is the 22nd annual. And what's great about these men and women is that they do come back 
from year to year. Uh, I, kn I know they like seeing each other, uh, which is nice, but they also participate in the conference. They provide presentations. You have a, a, sh a, a sheet in your packet that lists all their names, but these are the ones that are here today, and we're always grateful they're willing to come back.